Hello everyone. Good evening and greetings. Wish you all wonderful times ahead. In today's session, we are going to discuss about table maintenance generator and the significance of choosing the option of data browser and table view editing while creation of table and how it affects the table maintenance generator. And we will see a small example of maintaining the TMG events. Let's quickly jump on to the topic. So as you know, TMG, table maintenance generator, is the part which governs the data maintenance in SAP tables. Okay. Uh, during table creation, the option you choose for table editing determines the TMG creation steps. We will shortly get into the hands-on part. Before that, if you are not aware of table creation part, my previous video exactly discusses the same. I request you to kindly pause this button here, go back, see the video there and then come in again so that you have a better understanding and relevance. So the data browser and table view editing, which is a part of table creation step. It is the second most step that you will be doing while creating a table. Now, this has four different options. So we will discuss about each options clearly during our hands-on part because each option has its significance on the table maintenance generator. Uh, without wasting any further time, let's quickly jump on to the hands-on part. So this Z student is a table that we created in our last video. I'll go to the same table. As you see here, I have ensured the display and maintenance is allowed. Okay. Now, since I have maintained this of option out of this four, first, let's see how system behaves for this. So when I maintain this, what happens is I will have an option of maintaining the table maintenance generator. Now, how I maintain a table maintenance generator, I'll go to utilities table maintenance generator. So here I will choose for now. I'm not trying to provide any authorization group. So I provide no authorization. We have so many options here in the authorization. So I'm choosing here without authorization group, this particular option. And then I'm trying to assign a function group for now. I'm providing a function group. These are, you can provide any function group that is decided by your project or business, or you can give the same table name as the function group, even if it is not that it gets created. Here the maintenance step, there is one step or two step. Uh, for now, I'll show one step and how it reflects in the table maintenance screen, which is SM30, where we will go and maintain the data. I'm choosing one step. And since I chose one step, I need to maintain one screen number. The screen number either I can maintain as one or I can also ask SAP to find screen numbers for me. So when I say find screen number, it will ask me to propose screen numbers, list screen numbers or display free number ranges. For now, let's just ask, let's ask SAP to propose the screen numbers for us. It will propose a screen number here, or I can also choose my own screen number, either 100 or 11 or anything. For now, I'll keep it one and then I'll click on create. So what happens here? Now I'm creating my table maintenance generator because I have chose the option of table browser and editing option as display and maintenance allowed. So just because I dictated that this table is allowed for display and maintenance, I'm able to generate my table maintenance generator. Okay. Now to assure this particular step, I will go to SM30. Okay. I will give the same table and I'll click on maintain. When I click on maintain, I'll be given an option here with this screen, wherein I can go click on new entries. The same screen appears again. Let me maintain some entry here and test two. And the last name will be say uh, test three. And here, if you see in the department, if you remember in the table in my previous session, I told for a department, we have given a domain that is maintaining some value ranges in it, right? If you see here while maintenance part, those value ranges will come here. I cannot maintain any other thing. Of course, I can maintain a blank entry because a blank entry is part of this particular, this as well, right? I can either have it blank or I can choose any entry from here. Okay. So here I'm choosing engineering department. I'm choosing the fees as say 1100. Okay. And I'm saving it. Yes. The record is saved. Now, if I go back now in the same screen, again, I will have both the entries populated. Now, when I click on new entries, again, the same screen will open for me to maintain entries. Why there is same screen appearing again and again? Because in the table maintenance generator here, when I went to maintain it, I have chosen it as single screen. Correct. So now let's do one thing. Let me 
delete this particular table maintenance generator and I will recreate it. But this time I will give two step and I will propose instead of proposing let me give my own numbers here. I will give one and two and I will give two step and I will try to maintain this table maintenance generator now. I click on create. Okay. Now if you see when I go to the same table maintenance generator screen that is SM30 you will have a different screen reflecting. Of course I have to come back to this T code again. I cannot expect the screen to change dynamically. I'll execute this SM30 again. I'll click on maintain. So now the first screen will be the same. However, when I click on new entries, you see it is different. I have a new screen only for maintaining my data. So here I'll give 9653. My first name is test5. My last name is test6. And department I'll choose. This time I'll choose English. And fees I'll choose 1600. Okay. And I'll save it. Now the maintenance is happening in one screen and if I get back, if I give next entry or if I give uh, the previous entry, again it'll, the same screen will load for me to maintain the data. Now if I don't want to maintain the data and if I come back, now the data will be displayed in a different screen but maintenance will happen in a different screen. That is the impact of having two screens here. Okay. Hope now you understood this concept of delivery and maintenance tab wherein you are allowing data browser and table view editing will give us the option of maintaining data here in SM30. In addition to that, we can also see the data in SE16 as well. If I go to SE16 and if I execute it, if we can see the entries here in SE16. And if I can also see the same table using data browser. What is the data browser? Here you have a like in more using environment, you can go and view the entries in data browser as well. So here it is a different way of seeing the table contents. And if I execute, you can see the table contents here as well. So this option of display and maintenance allowed will help us in maintaining the data and displaying the data in SC16 and SC11 using data browser. Now let me choose the other option display and maintenance not allowed and let me try to activate. If I choose this option and if I go to first I'll go to SM30 okay and I'll try to maintain this table. You see display and maintenance of view tables this student is not allowed because I have chosen this option. So nobody can maintain the data. Now let's check if I can display the data okay. I'll go to SC16 see. I don't even have the fields coming up. If I check the number of entries, I cannot. You cannot display Z, uh, Z student with the standard tools because I have chose option as such. Now I'll go to SC11 and uh, I'll use that data browser option, environment, data browser. And if I click on table contents, again I get the same error. It's all because I have chosen display and maintenance is not allowed. Now I'll choose only display allowed and I'll activate it. Now let's see what happens here. I'll go to SM30 first step and here if I try to click on maintain it says table maintenance not allowed because I have only chosen display. So let me check in SA16N if I'm able to see the entries. Yes, now the entries are coming up. If I click on the entries, yes, I'll be able to see the entries. Now I'll use the same SC11 data browser as well. I should be able to see the data right data browser and here in table contents i'll be able to see the data correct yes so this option of only display allowed will allow me to see the data but will not allow me to maintain the data now i hope these three options are clear now i'll come to the last option display and maintenance allowed with restriction okay now what happens when i do this as a first step let me go and try to maintain it via sm30 okay if I maintain it, it says view student can only be displayed and maintained with restriction. When you click on this view detail, it clearly says go to the IMG. You have to use a customizing button option in transaction SM30 or you have to create a maintenance transaction for this. Like uh, find the customizing objects for maintenance of the table view Z student with the display existing maintenance objects button in the maintenance transaction SM30. So it's basically it claims that SM30 the normal maintenance is not allowed. You have to probably use a customizing object 
or there are other ways like creating a clusters or calling the view maintenance function called function module or another simpler solution is creating a maintenance view i will quickly explain that as well but before that let us see if you are able to see the sc16 entries for it yes you are able to see the sc16 entries because its maintenance is with restriction but display was still allowable for us i will also check if the data browser we are able to see the data so here in data browser yes we should be able to see the data and yeah we are able to see the data in data browser as well okay now when this particular option is maintained then how can we maintain the entries one quick option would be in sc11 you can go and create a maintenance view for it for the benefit of uh, saving time i have already created a maintenance view it's very pretty simple i'll discuss about all these view concepts in my subsequent videos but for now i created a maintenance view wherein in my main okay i'll quickly create it now uh, it seems okay i'll create a maintenance view for it uh, create and i'll go to a maintenance view and here i'm creating a maintenance view okay and here i'll give the table that i'm going to use which is z stu which is z student okay as soon as i press enter if you go to the fields you will have the key field already getting populated but that's not going to be sufficient for me i have to maintain all these fields right so i will select all the fields that i am trying to maintain using this particular table and the relevant uh, this is this is going to be the field name of in this maintenance view and this is also going to be the field name from the table as well right so i'll copy this table as well here yes so all these tables whatever i men men mentioned here whatever is part of the table will come here so i'll maintain all this and i'll try to activate it the maintenance view gets activated after maintaining here for this maintenance view i will go ahead and i will maintain a table maintenance generator so here let me put a single screen and i will find the screen numbers i'll give the function group the same as the table maintenance uh, name proposed screen numbers yeah screen number is proposed i will create and uh, i'll create this particular table maintenance generator now for this maintenance view i will go and try creating entries in sm30 let's see what happens sm30 and i'm giving this and i click on maintain you see you can maintain entries for that table by creating a maintenance view for that particular table so i'll click on here one entry i'll give 9999 i'll give tests 3 test 2 i'll choose the department as 13 and fees as 1900 and i'll save it now i'll come back the entry is here now i'll go and check in sc16 n i'll go and check in the student table if this entry is reflecting see this entry is reflecting i will use the same table and i'll check in sc11 about this particular database table i'll check if the entry is reflecting in the database browser uh, environment data browser and when i check the table contents yes the fourth entry is reflecting as well so this is what when you choose table entry and maintenance is allowed with restriction you cannot maintain it directly in sm30 using this table however you can use a maintenance view created for this table and you can use that maintenance view for maintaining the entries there are also other mechanisms like you can directly update by a program then you can create clusters or you can create um, a function module view maintenance call and then maintain however i'm not going to go that deep for now i'm just giving you one simple solution when this option is chosen okay now to quickly understand the events part let me choose back display and maintenance allowed and let me activate it okay now i'll go to table maintenance generator uh utilities table maintenance generator okay and here if you i see the table maintenance already generated right then you have to choose environment modification environment modification and events so here is where you can define the table maintenance generator events okay now how to choose an event and what you can write inside the event i will probably help you with those details in my next video but for now 
the main importance of this video is to understand the TMG and only if you maintain the TMG you will be able to maintain the events now for example one key point about the events is if I go to the stable maintenance generator and consider you can also delete the table maintenance generator anytime like I'm maintaining I'm deleting the table maintenance generator so what happens when I delete the table maintenance generator I go to SM30 I try to maintain this table it says the table maintenance dialog for the student is incomplete or not defined yes because I have deleted it so please understand maintaining option here doesn't guarantee that you can go ahead and maintain it so you are just dictating the database that this table is eligible for display and maintenance however for displaying and maintenance purpose or in other words for the maintenance purpose you need to generate the relevant object okay now without the object if you go here you can't even create the events there you see here in environment you don't even have this option for displaying the events correct so only when you generate the table maintenance generator for example if I generate the table maintenance generator I will give the function group here and then I will create it only after creating the table maintenance generator you will even have the option for maintaining the TMG event now if I go to more if I go to environment I will have a new option called modification and then I will have events okay now without creating the table maintenance generator I will not even have access to the events that's what the point I'm trying to convey so the discuss about events and what is the kind of code that you can write and how events are going to help you we will discuss in detail in my next video I hope in this video you understood clearly about the concepts of the table maintenance generator thank you so much and in my subsequent video I, I will discuss about the TMG events uh, there is a quick matrix for you uh, like this will help you in understanding what happens when you choose each option although we have seen it practically this is just a quick matrix okay so in the next video I will go through this TMG event wherein how a table maintenance generator is created how a TMG event is created and how the entries that are in the table is assisted through this TMG events thank you all wish you all peace and blessings see you soon in the next video